Good morning. Welcome to Wednesday Morning Manor. We are Hemingway Memorial African Methodist Episcopal Church in District Heights, Maryland. Our pastor is Reverend Dr. Gerald T. Folsom, and our first lady is Joyce Folsom. I am Reverend Lois Martin, your presenter this morning on July the 6th, 2022. Let us pray. Sovereign Lord, God Almighty, we come thanking you for another day of life. We thank you for watching over us last night and for waking us up this morning. We thank you, God, for everything that you have allowed to happen to us already. We thank you for new grace and new mercy. We ask you today to bless our pastor, Pastor Folsom and First Lady Folsom, and we pray, dear God, that you will bless each one of us on this line and all that would hear and during the stream during the week. Oh God, we pray, Lord, that you would give us your love, your 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 provision, your power. Oh God, and we ask you, dear God, that you would give us your peace. We pray this morning that you will meet all of our needs and bring fruit from your word today. We ask you, God, to let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, for you are my strength, and you are my redeemer, and I thank you, and I praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. The scripture this morning, I'm going to be reading from Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 6. Be strong, it says, and courageous, and do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you, and he will never leave you nor forsake you. Be strong, be courageous, don't be afraid, don't be terrified, because God is with you, and he's with me, thank God. I want to talk a little bit this morning about the world. The world is a mess, and confusion is everywhere. But I want to let you know this morning that Jesus offers us peace. Jesus offers us peace. Fear, a feeling that is very familiar to me. From a child up, I was the one running in fear, just scared and acting and reacting to things and situations out of just being scared out of my wits. Hmm. I was scared of parades, and I remember one time as a, a, a little girl, maybe I was about 10 or 11, and the, my brother and other teens and preteens on Halloween decided that we were going to go up to the cemetery, which was about two blocks from our house, and I was tagging along, and we went on up there, and about maybe halfway in the cemetery, there was a shed. We got to this little house and somebody screamed. And I ran, I mean, I took off like a rocket. I was running and I was yelling and they were yelling at me, trying to get me to stop. And I didn't stop until I got to 814. I laugh about it now, thinking about how fast I was, how I could get back to my house so quickly. Anybody that got sick in my house or my neighborhood, I was the one running around crying and hollering and inviting the neighbors to come because somebody was sick and they were going to die. Of course, the last part was only in my mind, but then I thought maybe it wasn't all in my mind because I had seen my little baby sister die. I can recall so many happenings in my adult life even. Oh, my God. I was at the place, even as an adult, I was, I just had this fear about walking upstairs in my old house that my parents owned, that you could count on me reacting because I was scared, holding my neck, didn't want anybody to go, I didn't want to go by myself, I didn't want to do anything, wouldn't want to go shopping even if I didn't have somebody with me. But nowadays, I look at the world and I think, man, if I was scared then, today, I'm saying to God, 
I wish you would hurry up and come because I don't know what will happen next. But then I read in the Bible in Matthew chapter 24, and I realized this is just a time of sorrow. Then I also read a book, A Hundred Devotions of Hope and Encouragement from Jesus Calling, it says, and it was by Sarah Young. And she always wrote these things that Jesus, like he's talking to you personally. So he, Jesus was saying, hear me saying, peace be still to your restless heart. No matter what happens, I will never leave you or forsake you. Let this assurance soak into your mind and heart until you overflow with joy. Though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, you still do not fear, for I am with you. I am holding your hand. And that was the end of that passage. So God knows what messages and what news and situations and account will constantly be before us. The media relentlessly proclaims every day bad news from breakfast for lunch and for dinner. A fair, steady diet of that stuff will just make you sick. Instead of focusing on fickle, ever-changing, sometimes the same, sometimes repeating bad news, fake news, statistic news, oh my God, broadcasting every day. I got to the place that I just had to turn off my TV. February, 2022, I decided personally, I've had enough of TV. So I stopped listening to the news. Up until this date, I still have not turned on my news to listen four o'clock, seven o'clock, 11 o'clock like I used to do because it was just too much. I was hearing some stuff in February that was trying to rock my world. And I said, I can't do it. I just can't. I just have to let you go, TV. And I only watch now TV for prime video, Christian inspirational and documentary movies and that kind of thing. My mind just couldn't take it, y'all. I felt it was destroying my peace and keeping me upset. And I can, I can read my Bible, I thought. I'll just read it, and I'll listen to my Bible app, and it will give me so much comfort that I won't have to just listen to bad things all the time. Sometimes I listen, and I've already read that scripture, but it's good because I get a new thought. I get a new revelation. Sometimes I get a new vision. If I listen to it late at night, even on the bed, I end up dreaming about some of the stuff that I read, <laughs> which I think is good, okay? And it helps me to walk more steadily along a poor, peaceful path in my life. And so even though we don't know what will happen tomorrow, we can be absolutely sure, though, of our ultimate destination and plans that God has for our lives. Because the song says, because Jesus lives, we can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. God says, I hold you by my righteous right hand. And afterwards, I'll take you home to glory. So be encouraged this morning by God's word. All of what I was reading, though, in the Bible, it didn't really mean anything much to me until I gave my life and fears to God. I prayed over and over and over again sometimes. I cried, and I cried out to God for help. And a little by little, I recognized there was a boldness and a fight and a defense in me because I was putting my dependence on God. And I believed his word. What the scripture says, I repeated it as if it was written just for me. I wrote my name in the Bible on some of them as a positive light bulb moment, I would call it, in my life. I was able to go 
I was able to do. I was even able to drive some places that I thought I couldn't. And God and I had a thing going on, y'all. We had a thing going on, a relationship. Oh, my God. The song says me and Mrs. Jones, but I'm going to say me and God. I was talking to him, and he was talking to me in Scripture. In Scripture, then, Jesus, he rose up. He rebuked the wind, and he said to the sea, remember when the disciples were out on the boat? He said, peace be still. And the wind, they clapped, and they ceased and they calmed themselves. There was a great calm on the water. You can read that in Mark chapter 4, verse 39. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, Psalms 46, 2 says. Yet I am always with you. You hold me by your right hand. You guide me with your counsel. And afterwards, you will take me into glory. I love that from Psalm 73, verses 23 and 24. Let me know. It may be going on now, but it won't last forever. So have no fear of them, for nothing is covered that will not be revealed or hidden, that will not be known. Matthew 10, 26. I shared that with someone that I know that was dear to me. Do not fear. For you will not be ashamed, neither be disgraced. For you will not be put to shame. For you will forget the shame of your youth. You are my servant. I have chosen you, and I have not rejected you. Mm. Listen to Jesus speaking to us. So don't be fearful. He said, do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed. For I am your God. I will strengthen you, and I will help you, and I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. I have to keep saying it. Don't be afraid. So he's telling me, he's telling you, he's telling all of us to take courage. Take me by the hand. Psalm 4 and 8. I am in peace. (laughs) I will both lie down and sleep. For you alone, O God, make me dwell in safety. That gives me some assurance to know that I can be in peace. Ah, I just thank him so much this morning. Psalm, no, I'll go to Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7. Good news says, don't worry about anything, but in all your prayers, ask God for what you need. Always asking him with a thankful heart. And God's peace, which is far beyond human understanding, will keep your heart. He will keep your mind, faith in union with Christ Jesus. John 16, 33 says, I have told you this so that you will have peace by being united to me. The world will make you suffer, but be brave. I have defeated the world. John 14, 27 says, peace. Is what I leave with you. It is my own peace that I give you. I do not give it as the world does. Do not be worried and upset. Do not be afraid. Just have peace in me. Oh, God, I love you this morning, and I thank you for this word of peace. Let us pray. God, Nothing is impossible with you. You love us even when we are unlovable. You are good to us even when we don't deserve it. You are kind and compassionate to us even when we mess up. You show us what faithful love looks like. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for never leaving or forsaking us. Today, remind us how to share your love with others and to live in that peace that only you can give. I pray this morning that you will let us walk in it, live in it, and share it in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen and amen.